Well, as was the case in the regular season against Richmond, a uh, very tight ball game. Both teams played well. Probably the most entertaining game of the first day so far. And you come out ahead, you get, you kind of grind. Boy, it's just like that Richmond series, just a lot warmer. A lot warmer. You know, we played in <laughs> snow the last four innings of the, of the last game. Uh, we said before, you know, Richmond, we have a lot of respect for them. And those kids played their tails off. They've won 30 games. They've played a good non-conference schedule. Uh, we knew we were going to be in for a battle. And, and they're not a good matchup for us. I mean, I can say that now. That they're just not a really good matchup for us. And I didn't think we really ever got in sync, to be honest. Barnett was just wasn't in sync. And defensively, we just, and offensively, we were just kind of eh. And it just, but we just keep hanging in there and playing. You know, Tony played really well today. Got all of his family in town, so he says he plays well when his family's in town, but that's cool. And Bazin, I don't think you're going to see any two better plays than what he made those last two ground balls. To get to that double play ground ball and to be able to feed it to Elwood, we only got one out there in that situation, but to be just to, to get to that ball and then be able to secure it and feed it to Elwood. And Elwood did a good job, you know, of, of not trying to turn that into something that it wasn't and, and trying to get that second end of the, the double play at first. So, And then the last play on that high chopper that he's got to charge, with a guy that runs all right, you know, at this level, you're not going to see a shortstop make too many better plays than that. Uh, kind of the, the theme of this year has been grind out. That's your 11th one-run win this year. And to get those, not only we could talk about hitting, but you got to have the defense, and that probably would be the key for you today. But then again, that seventh inning, they give you an out, and your guys have to capitalize. And you had three guys, with Seeger hit a double, Elwood had two RBI today. The, the guys at the right spots came up, it seemed like today. Well, we practice all these things. You know, we, we can't put, you know, 1,500 people in the stands, but we practice all these things, as you know, in the fall. We do modified, we do situational stuff. We move guys around defensively. We put guys in at certain spots running the bases and, and we practice it and we do it in, in a very up-tempo way to where we're trying to put as much pressure on our guys and in practice situations and sometimes it always doesn't work out the right way in games as you know but for the most part uh, it does because our guys really aren't surprised you know with anything that, that happens in game situations so again just proud of the way our, our kids just keep hanging in there and playing I mean we just we do we just grind and uh, it was good to get Lang back in the lineup you know he's rusty hadn't played in two two and a half weeks and you could tell but I think the more at bats he gets the more he's got a chance to be able to help us down there at the bottom of the order. And he gets to rest. He doesn't have to play tonight. You guys get to forward to the 130 game tomorrow. So that's good for the guys to be able to get off their feet because this was probably one of the hotter days we played in this year, this early in the day. It was. And again, hats off to Richmond. You know, they, I know they're going through some turmoil right now, but their administration has been fantastic down here dealing with their players that they have. And their coaches have been fantastic. And, and uh, you know, it's, it was a good effort from them. And, and really, they really challenged us. All right, Coach, good luck uh, tomorrow. Congrats on the win today. We'll visit with you then. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.